Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. I'm Achna Singh. Today's video, I'm going to talk about most expected question from William Wordsworth and the previous year asked question from William Wordsworth. So without wasting time, let's start. William Wordsworth was a poet who belongs to the Romantic era. He was born in 1770 and died in 1850. He published Lyrical Ballad in 1798, first edition with his fellow writer Samuel Taylor Coleridge. After the death of Robert Southey in 1843, he became Poet Laureate of England and he remained Poet Laureate until his death in 1850. In 1793, Wordsworth published his first collection of poems, An Evening Walk and Descriptive Sketches. In 1795, he met Samuel Taylor Coleridge and both published a lyrical ballad in 1798. Now come to the most expected and last year asked questions from uh, William Wordsworth. Okay, so here we have to match list 1 and list 2. So please check the question and try to answer. Here the right answer is option number 2. John Keats has written the comic. Uh, the ex excursion was written by William Wordsworth. Song of Experience by William Blake. And Alastair is written by P.B. Seeley. So here the right answer is option number 2. As such a question hai, wo hamesa exam mein puchhe jate hai. But sometimes by mistake, we mark uh, a wrong answer of easy question. So please careful and uh, check carefully all the question and choose right answer. Okay. Now come to the next question. Next question is arrange the following critical works in their chronological order of publication. So let us discuss one by one. Preface to Lyrical Ballads is an essay composed by William Wordsworth for the second edition, published in 1801 or 1800. Right. If the exam is preface to Lyrical Ballad was published in, then the most appropriate answer will be 1800. Right. Lyrical Ballad was published in 1798. Then preface of Lyrical Ballad was published in 1800 and the third edition of Lyrical Ballad was published in 1802. So you should remember all this date. Defense of Rhyme is written by Samuel Daniel who was uh, a Elizabethan writer. Samuel Daniel is also best remembered for his sonnet cycle Delia. Okay, Delia is a sonnet cycle written by Samuel Daniel. So, Defense of uh, the Rhine is published in 1603. Life of Carly was written by Samuel Johnson in Lives of Poets series published in three volumes between 1779 and 1781. Right. Finally, The Frontier of Criticism is a lecture given by T.S. Eliot at University of Minnesota in 1956 and it was published in 1957. The essay is an attempt by Eliot to define the boundaries of literary criticism. Right. Now we can easily find out the answer. Here the chronological order will be first defense of rhyme then life of Kali, then preface to lyrical ballad and the last is the front tire of criticism then the order will be b c a d so here the right answer is option number three next question is which of the following poets does william hazlitt call don quixote like in his essay my first acquaintance with poets Please check the option. Here the right answer is option number A, William Wordsworth. Next question is what is being described by Wordsworth in the following lines from his poem The Thorn. I have measured it from side to side. It is three feet long and two feet wide. Please try to answer. Here the right answer is option number D, an infant's grave, right. 
which were directly connected the theme of death nature and childhood in his poem the thorn using two figures a dead child and a hawthorn tree he foreshadows the death of a child using nature imagery the plot of the poem is that a woman was left by her lover when she was pregnant ostensibly went insane visited a spot in mountains for the duration of her pregnancy eventually murders her new born child and buried under the hawthorn tree the thought is a poem as wordsworth himself described as a poem related to the belief and superstition of a common man children and infant are used as simile to describe the strange nature of thorn here women named martha ray can be uh, interpreted as a personification of the thorn here wordsworth held the romantic notion that the child was the purest and finest form of the human being a state that is sadly lost in adulthood okay and uh, he said he quoted in this poem that child is the father of men so this quote was often asked in exam so please keep in mind okay now come to the next question next question is which person of lyrical ballads was the first one to have the preface by wordsworth so i have already discussed about this question that it was in 1801 or 1800 right in 1800 uh, the version of lyrical ballad was the first one to have the preface by wordsworth right so right answer is option number b next question is who viewed wordsworth saudi and coleridge as representative of a sect of poets dissenters from the established system in poetry and criticism who constituted the most formidable conspiracy against sound judgment in matters politics here the right answer is option number d frankis jaffrey in 1817 review of coleridge's biographia literaria frankis jaffrey coined the term lake school of poets grouping the poets wordsworth coleridge and saudi okay next question is very easy an english poet could not help the excitement that an historical event caused in his lifetime bliss was it in that dawn to be alive but to be young was very heaven which poet what dawn and here the right answer is option number c william wordsworth the french revolution next question is in the opening book of prelude wordsworth mentions famously that he was fostered alike by here the right answer is fear and beauty he was fostered alike by fear and beauty so here the right answer is b and d so option number 2 is correct the prelude or growth of poet's mind is an autobiographical poem by wordsworth and it is a very personal poem okay wordsworth started writing in 1798 but did not complete this poem till his death in 1850 next question is match the work with other the excursion is written by william wordsworth christabel is written by coleridge milton is written by william blake and queen mab is written by p b selly so here the right answer is option number 2 next question is which british university figures in william wordsworth's prelude and here the right answer is option number c cambridge In book 5 of Prelude Wordsworth dreams of an Arab in the desert after reading which great work And here the right answer is option number A Cervantes Don Quixote 
The prelude has been written in 14 books and each book carrying the different experience of Wordsworth's life. Next question is sweet is the load which nature brings our meddling intellect misshapes the beauteous forms of things we murder the dissect. Wordsworth which of the following best summarize the speaker's position? Here the right answer is option number C. Nature yells a pleasure superior to that derived from intrusive human inquiry. In which of the following volumes do you find charming appreciations of Wordsworth household by Thomas D. Quincy? And here the right answer is option number D. Reminiscences of the English Lake Poets. Thomas D. Quincy was also a poet, a critic, essayist of Romantic era and he was remembered, uh, best remembered for his work Confession of an English Opium Eater. The next question is in Wordsworth's prelude, the boy of Winander is affected by and here the right answer is option number C, muteness. I have already provided the PDF notes of all the works of William Wordsworth. So please go and check the prelude PDF. Next question is the prelude also began as early as 1799 and finished in its first person in 1805 was not published until I have already discussed this question in my previous question so here the right answer is option number D 1850 prelude was not published until the date of Wordsworth in 1850 next question is William Wordsworth's statement of purpose in publishing the lyrical ballads carrying the following phrase complete the phrase correctly to choose incidents from common life and to relate or describe them throughout as far as possible here the right answer is option number a in a selection of language really used by men Wordsworth's most famous poetry emphasizes simple and everyday interactions with nature while Coleridge is most famous for its emphasis on the dreamlike and supernatural poems. Next question is one English poet addressing another. The soul was like a star and dwelt apart. Thou hast a voice whose sound was like as the sea, pure as the net heavens, majestic free. So didst thou travel on life common way in cheerful godliness. Whose line are these to whom they are addressed? Here the right answer is option number C. It is a line by Wordsworth and he was addressing John Milton. Next question is identify the sonnet upon sonnet by William Wordsworth. And here the right answer is option number D. None spread not at their convent's narrow room. Next question is William Wordsworth had a deep influence on Thomas Hardy. According to Hardy, a particular poem by Wordsworth was his best cure for despair. Which is that poem? And here the right answer is option number D, the leech gatherer. For nature then the coarser pleasure of my voice days and their glad animal moment all gone by to me was all in all. In these lines from Tintern away revisited, Wordsworth is talking about and here the right answer is option number C, both the first and second stage in his relationship with nature. Which of the following statement about the lyrical ballad is not true? Option number A, it carried only one ballad proper which was Coleridge, the rhyme of the ancient mariner. Yes, it is true. It also carried pastoral and other poems. It is also true. It carried a preface which Wordsworth added in 1800. Yes, it is also true. 
and option number D it also printed from gray LZ written in country churchyard no it is not true so the right answer is option number D who among the following was not a contemporary of Wordsworth and Coleridge here Robert Sardi was contemporary uh, Sir Walter Scott was contemporary and William Hazlitt was also the contemporary of Wordsworth and Calrys. Uh, these three are belongs to romantic period. Here option number D, A.C. Swinburne was not the contemporary of Wordsworth and Calrys. So here the right answer is option number D. Next question is which of the following statements on the prelude by William Wordsworth is not true? The prelude was published posthumously. Yes, it is true. Prelude was published after the death of William Wordsworth. In this poem, Wordsworth records his development as a poet. Yes, it is also true. The poem runs to 14 books. At crucial stage, the poet celebrates the sublime natural scenery in developing his spiritual, moral and imaginative nature. Yes, it is also true. Option number D. Poems like Michael, the old Cumberland beggar, she dwelt among the untrodden ways, nothing. It is C are the highlights of this volume. No, it is not true. So here the right answer is option number C. D is not true. Next question is arrange the following in the chronological order. So here Mary Wollstonecraft Vindication of the Rights of Women was published in 1792. Lyrical Ballad was published in 1798. French Revolution was happened in 1789. And Percy Relics of uh, Ancient English Poetry was published in 1765. So here the chronological order will be 4, 3, 1 and 2. So right answer will be option number A. Which of the following poems feature the phrase the still sad music of humanity? And here we all know the right answer is Tain Turn Away. Next question is which romantic poet coined the famous phrase spot of time? And we all know the right answer is option number B William Wordsworth. Next question is the poetry of Wordsworth and Coleridge was notably influenced by and we all know the right answer is French Revolution. The poetry of Wordsworth and Coleridge was influenced by French Revolution. Next question is what is common to the following poems? Wordsworth, The Recluse, Silly, The Triumph of Life, Biden, Don Juan, Keats Hyperion. So here the most common thing in the following poems are they all are unfinished poems. So the right answer is option number B. He is not fully recognized at home. He is not recognized at all abroad. Yet I firmly believe that the po poetical performance of is after that Shakespeare and Milton undoubtedly most considerable in our language to whom does the Matthew Arnold refer in the ever statement. Here the right answer is William Wordsworth. Arnold said that the poetical performance of William Wordsworth is after that of Shakespeare and Milton undoubtedly most considerable in our language. Next question is, in which poem does the following line appear? Our birth is but a sleep and forgetting. Here the right answer is, option number B, immortality odd. Bliss was it in that dawn to be alive, but to be young was very heaven. This, po this occurs in a poem by William Wordsworth. William Wordsworth has written the line in the context of French Revolution. So please keep in mind. Next question is the character of leech gatherer appears in and here the right answer is option number D resolution and independence. The final version of verse was the prelude appeared in and here the right answer is option number C 
एटीन फिफ्टी